Okay, this is uh, along the Wee Hawkins Trail. You can actually see the mountains right there. And the uh, spruce forest right there. <coughs> Up on the, on the side, the, the skinny trees. But in the meanwhile, we're on the edge of the spruce <coughs> um, forest right here. And here's a wet spot. Um, not terribly, but... <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> um, in bloom, it's mid-June, uh, so this is a elderberry, uh, you'll notice opposite, opposite leaves, uh, they're divided, pinnately divided, the flowers come off as a unit, um, so all the petals are fused and fused to the stamens as well. <clears throat> and so this in Sambucus um, microbiotitis, which sounds like a disease, but microbiotitis. But um, <clears throat> if the berries are red, I guess that's the standard form variety Melocarpa is if they're um, black, um, as the name would suggest. Uh, if they were flat topped, the flowers are flat topped, there is a seam there. It's flat topped, that would be Cerula, uh, Sambica Cerula, uh, which is the more standard edible one. I'm not altogether sure if this is edible. I'm going to say no, usually the red ones um, are not. But um, this is kind of on the verge of being an herbaceous plant that has hollow stems. Uh, although the stem, well, the plant is generally toxic, the flowers are often used as antibiotic, um, especially in infusions. So, um, but anyway, elderberry, I think cerula is probably the one to go, cerula meaning blue. Uh, sky blue in some languages, um, but anyway, elderberry. So we can get a little closer and see the stems. And since they're hollow, they're all. I guess they were used for musical instruments of some sort. Probably not the best idea, being it's a technically a poisonous plant. So anyway, uh, so anyway, elderberry. Uh, some mucus. Um, that's the sambuca is the drink. I guess the berries are used in that. So anyway, there you go.